Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Miranam Anjali Hey. And today we're going to do America's largest warships to exercise with Indian Navy amid China aggression. So we know that India had the border issue with China yeah. and China backed off. Um, but we also know that U.S. has been in China Sea kind of hanging out in the water over there, letting them know. And we hope, we hope that Modi's been talking to Japan and there was exercises with them, talking to Australia, talking to the U.S. So these other three big countries that are, seem to be on Modi G's side, on India's side, um, amidst all this, you know, stuff with China. Yeah. So this seems like a really good sign. Like, this seems like we're with you, India. If you need to go to war, like you have these three other countries that seem to be behind you. We also heard in the news here that um, the four countries are planning to get together, um, Australia, Japan, India, and the U.S., to do all four of them an exercise together. And that, I think, would really um, make China pee in their pants. Yeah. Yeah, China's just a big bully because mm -hmm. all they do is come to the border and then they back off saying, we did nothing, you have no proof, we got satellites. Like... They don't ever use their full force. Like, they don't want a war, but they're also going to pick on you. Yeah. I think they think India is an easy neighbor. And I think this last time they got slapped pretty hard by the lion. Um, and now I feel like India has got Japan and Australia and the U.S. Yes, yeah. on their side. Um, and China knows if they try full-out war. But the, here's the thing. If they start crap... At the border, if they are coming at you, you go full force because you know you have these three big countries and there's a lot of other countries that are pissed at China right now that will probably come and join you. And I don't think and a lot China of has inner many. things with China too, like Inner yeah. Mongolia and Tibet and all these other countries that are next to them that will fight them. Right. All the people that China has taken over internally, I think will break out and start um Tibet and Inner Mongolia and yeah. Uyghur Muslims, like you are going to have um, Hong Kong, you're going to have a lot of rebellion if a war starts out. And I think that's why they've been backing off and not really going full force. But this is like their bully tactic, come, go, come, go. And it's not going to work this time. I, I hope Modi stands his ground. It feels like Modi G is really standing his ground, yeah. you know, um, with this exercise, hopefully this is another show to, to... It's okay. I mean, we'd rather not there be a full-out war. I think China knows they're going to lose. But I'd rather not lose a bunch of lives to, to, to find that out. I would rather this, like, go and, and, you know, buddy up with all these other countries and show China who's in, in charge. Um, but I do hope that there is some, you know, like resolutions of the UN like there's no answers for this coronavirus there's no like um you know they're not letting people in they're you know taking over Hong Kong and Taiwan you know like Tibet they need to let these countries that they have um taken free again you know there's a lot of things that need to be done and we don't really want the bloodshed but maybe we need the war in order to get all these countries to break free and China to realize that they can't be... And they can't fool the world anymore. No, they can't fool the world anymore. They can't make cheap crap and make everybody think they love them when they don't let anybody in. They, they let viruses out and, you know, it's crazy. We hear all this stuff from the FBI agents here, how they're stealing our information and how, you know, they're violating patents left and right. And, you know, this is in the news all the time. And, this is like the Chinese Communist Party needs to be stopped. And I hope this is a big wake up call for China. But I hope this is too like India is taking side, good sides and they have good people behind them. So we know the U.S. will be behind them and these other countries. And we hope that that helps India stand its ground. And this is the time to take over made in India so that there's nothing people have choices 
and we would love that choice to be made in India. So let's start this up, Bungie. Yeah. Now, amidst China's aggression, America's largest warship is likely to conduct naval exercises with the Indian Navy. The USS Navy's USS Nimitz, which happens to be the world's largest Largest warship, warship. is likely to to have an exercise with the Indian Navy off the coast of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The Nimitz is already present in the Indian Ocean and came into the ocean via the Malacca Strait. The strait is a narrow stretch between Malaysia and Indonesia, which is a crucial global choke point as considerable global oil flows from it to the rest of Asia, including to China. Mm. The likely India-US exercises could happen on the lines of the exercise that India had with the Japanese naval forces at the end of June, so soon. which had been termed yeah. as PASEX or passing exercises. The Nimitz aircraft carrier is coming from the South China Sea and was part of the war games along with the USS Theodore Roosevelt. Wow. Now, this development is significant given the increased presence of China in the Indian mm-hmm. Ocean. Last month, India and China had witnessed a violent face-off after China took premeditated and planned action that was directly responsible for the resulting violence and the casualties. China has its only overseas military base in Djibouti in the Horn of Africa that is located strategically at the mouth of the crucial sea lanes connecting the Suez Canal, the Gulf of Aden and also the wider Indian Ocean. Meanwhile, it is looking at a significant possibility that Australia may join India, the United States and Japan for the Malabar exercises that are expected to happen later this year. The four countries already Mm -hmm. have a working arrangement called the Quad, whose foreign ministers met last year. This is just awesome. We do hope that all four countries get together. Yeah. And, you know, do an exercise with all four of them. I like that they call it the quad and that they are, you know, working together because China is very sneaky. We know this dragon is has More lies and goes and gets stuff, you know, not the legitimate legal way. We've had a lot of people here that have gotten thrown in jail because they were leaking thousands and thousands or and thousands of dollars of information. Disappeared. Uh huh. If they, if you don't, you know, go with what the CCP is saying, you know, you might not be there the next day. So we know that, you know, this is a big game changer. This is like India has support and not that we want war, but you definitely want to keep that border tight. You definitely want to keep on your A game. Um, you know, Japan has ordered, um, fighter jets from the U.S., these F-35s, and we think that would be awesome for India to get those as well. Like, Japan is this little tiny country, but has, you know, won the wars against China more than once, and they always have the best of the best weaponry. They might not have the right amount of people, but they have the right weapons. And so some of it is having the right stuff, Um, And making it, too, we've talked about that, like making it in India so that you have the top-notch military equipment in the world, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Modi is opening the doors to all these made in India and all this made in India stuff, and we should take advantage of that, making weaponry, making 5G, which is coming out, working with Google, and making all this other stuff and people should look at it and be like oh it's made in india we know it's good quality and we know it's a good price good price for good quality not like china who makes you spend over and over and over and over again because it's cheap crap and we don't want to buy made in china we want to buy made in india but we don't we can't only we you need an alternative we need an alternative yeah Right, like pharmaceuticals, a lot of the vitamins and different things we have Especially are we have. made in China. Mm-hmm. So we would like there to be always an alternative because India at least follows similar rules, similar democracy, freedom of speech. They care about their people, whereas China, you know, has two million Uyghur Muslims that they're trying to change the Quran and, you know, sterilize them and not let them go where they want to go. And they're holding Tibet Buddhists and calling the holy Dalai Lama like a terrorist. Yeah. You know, they don't treat people in a humane way. Obviously they we've seen it cheat. with the coronavirus. Yeah. And we've heard about it through the FBI and through Trump. Like 
they they lie on and they steal information they pay their people to to steal information from the u.s to sell to another company to then sell it back to the company that they stole it from yeah. you know this kind of stuff is unethical and these are not the type of people we want to do business with anymore we don't want to do business with the ccp we know a lot of the chinese people are unhappy people in hong kong are unhappy the people in type are unhappy in taiwan there's a lot of unrest and we want there to be some democracy there we would like them to be more open like india is we would like them to be i don't know if they ever will be but there's a lot of people there that have been silenced and that's not fair either so we are glad that these four countries are working together and we hope you know everything stays strong and tight but yeah don't let them this is not gandhi like no let him slap your other cheek no if they slap you you punch them twice so this is how it's going to go down we want more political chess but if they're coming across that border and they're going to start swinging you, that's it yeah go all out that lion is going to yeah. kick some butt so all right i hope you guys enjoyed this Um, We're really excited about this, and uh, hopefully we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye. Bye!